Attributing David Bowie is the most um, incredible honor that anyone's ever given me. It takes me all the way back to why I started Lady Gaga. Because I was 18 and I was still Stephanie. And then the more I discovered David Bowie, the stronger I became. And without him, I never would have made that change. I would have felt free enough. In his honor, I got the sheet music out again, going through the performance step by step, sitting with people that have worked with him as well as people that have loved him his whole life and, and creating something that is hopefully a real joy ride. He's one of the most brilliant people I've ever met. And to do a musical tribute to him with Gaga feels so awesome. It's going to get a lot of very positive responses, just based on her passion for who he was. The performance that we're doing, half of the arrangements that she came up with, we just did right on the spot. That's, that's the essence of creativity, artistry, that's spontaneity. Walk to the center of the stage, I do change. Technology certainly matters to me. And I think that it has a really profound way that it can affect stage performance and really take it to another level. The times that it works is when you have the time to really test it. It's incredible. It makes the human experience a lot more interesting. I, I in my heart of hearts. Well, Intel came to us. They were very excited to, in a new way, let the world know what it is that they do. They were interested in collaborating with the House of Gaga to create an artistic expression of Intel's work. It's been fantastic because they built us this huge mock Staples Center stage, and it's given us the entire month to test the technology before the performance. I think we have to choreograph when we turn the I love artists, and I think what's so exciting about this collaboration is I get to shine a light on so if we make this all of these scientists that are, you know, artists in my opinion. Uh, all of the things that they develop, that they research, that they invent, uh, they are dreamers. And that is at the essence of being an artist, is having a, a, a strong vision that you chase after. The Curie system that you put together can recognize motion, gestures, and the actual location. Uh, we take all that information, it goes to a server, and it's used to generate uh, the visual effects. The Curie ring is, is incredibly important. It's, it's the piece that, that stitches together the show. Um, it has the microcomputing uh, Curie chip inside of it, and uh, we've worked with the team to get it as small as uh, as possible so that we can build it into a wearable architecture that can control the show. I think each robot is born uh, eager to perform. I think each one has a personality and I think because of their kinetic nature, the way they move, they come to life. It's like adds time to what they do. The piano has been a great evolution. We started with researching what David Bowie played, which was a funky old upright piano. Can it go, you know, you know, left to right and then sort of like spin around? With the robots, we said, okay, they're cool, but you know, how can we reinvent this idea? So we uh, decided we could create a dancing piano out of these robots. When I got here on day one, Intel placed six Curie modules all over my body, and they basically used it to track my movement and to see how well they could adapt their robots with actual dance movement on my body. We're able to convert that into a language they understand, and then they can truly learn that style. One of the challenges that we had with this performance is that Lady Gaga had to be singing while we were projecting onto her face. 
The way that we approached it is we scanned her face using three-dimensional scanning technology. And then we were able to 3D print that, and we were able to practice on that in, with different expressions of Gaga's face. What makes all of these systems communicate together, the different networks, the different way all of these complex pieces interact? And I think sometimes um, you don't really see that or feel that the way all of these systems are synchronized. On this stage, we're attempting things that five years ago would not have been impossible at all. We wanted to create an expression of not only David Bowie's magic as a visual artist and musician who combined music, technology, fashion, and art, uh, but also to show that uh, there is magic that can be made with technology, that it's not just big machines and computers and the internet. You can actually create imagery that is otherworldly, moments, events, experiences that have never happened before. To imagine the unimaginable, to see the unseeable, think the unthinkable, invent the uninventable. And so that is really what the performance is trying to say. And that's what he was and is forever.